I would now like to ask your attention for the commanding officer or for para, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Rogers. Dames en heren, de commandant van 4 para bataillon, de Luitenant Colonel Rogers. The parachute drop this morning involving the men of the four battalions of the Parachute Regiment, other United Kingdom Airborne Forces, and US and Dutch paratroopers, and the soldiers of our other partner nations, commemorates the largest and one of the boldest airborne operations ever mounted. The risks of this Allied operation were great, but the prizes were Dutch freedom and an early end to the conflict. Seven days of the fiercest fighting of the war followed. There were enormous losses on both sides and heavy civilian casualties, but there was also extraordinary heroism. The operation did not end on the 26th of September with the withdrawal of the remnants of the 1st Airborne Division and General Sosobowski's Polish Brigade for the Dutch resistance and many of the brave people of Holland, it continued while they fed, sheltered and tended the wounds of the Allied soldiers and airmen who remained. The unbreakable bond between the Netherlands and the Allied nations forged in the war through suffering, courage, pride and sadness could not be stronger today. Blood continues to be spilt on foreign fields in the cause of freedom and the proof of the unity between the nations represented here today can be found in our collective commitment to operations in Afghanistan. It is emphasised by the significance of the achievements and the sacrifice of the Dutch armed forces in Uruzgan. We honour the veterans and those who fell in 1944, but our combined commitment to peace and international security is today's struggle. Als broeders zullen we verder gaan. Thank you. We will now listen to the speech of the Padre of Four Para, ladies and gentlemen, the Domine van the van het vierde Parachutistenbataljon. This business of parachuting is all about safe landings, be they front right or front left rear right or rear left or even the ubiquitous heels backside head it's at the moment of landing that a paratrooper's skills and values his potential and training can be expressed in the complexities of the mission in which he's engaged one cannot help but wonder what the local onlookers here 65 years ago must have expected as they thaw the thousands of pairs of booted feet about to make contact with the soil of Ginkle Heath. I think to some the myriad canopies up there in the sky gracefully drifting earthwards would have been an ominous portent. To many others those myriad canopies would have brought a leap of hope in the heart, a cry for peace, for liberation for the hand of human solidarity and filial love. We have a saying in the regiment, every man an emperor. And all the, although these men were ordinary people from ordinary towns and villages far away, they were ennobled in the eyes of the onlookers as they landed, front left, front right, rear left, rear right heels, backside, head, as they connected eternal values with the complexities 
and difficulties of life in this place at this time. So as we lift our eyes heavenwards today, as we look away from the routine of our day-to-day -day lives for a moment, we're inspired to remember these ordinary emperors of 65 years ago. Our tribute must surely be to them to renew ourselves with heavenly values of hope, liberty, human solidarity and human filial love and connect them, land them, if you like, in the complexities and challenges of our own lives and the life of our communities. We bow our heads for a prayer. Almighty God, we dedicate to you this day of memorial, this 65 years of remembrance. By your Holy Spirit, inspire us and renew us with the eternal values of hope, peace, liberty and love. So equip us that we may break down barriers that separate people and nations and work to bring about your kingdom in our time, in our place, on this earth. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pause for a moment to remember those with whom we've shared this pilgrimage who are now on a further shore. We also remember those with whom we have served on operations who have lost their lives. We remember those who are not here today through injury or ill health. We complete our prayers in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Please join in. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the defence of the Most High be above and beneath, around and within us, in our going out and in our coming in, in our rising up and in our going down, through all our days and all our nights, until the dawn when the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings for the peoples of the world. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon each one of you. May his blessing be upon your families near and far and on each person that you love. And may that blessing remain with you today and every day. Amen.